All right, guys, so we are out here doing another review three days in a row because this is the week of trying new food. So today we are, get ready for it, get ready for it. We are going to try the Trader Joe's butternut squash mac and cheese. I hope you heard that while I was saying that behind the box, but here it is. I'm gonna make it and then we're gonna try it. <laughs> while the oven is preheating, I just thought I would discuss it a little bit further. So this butternut squash mac and cheese is a Metsy rigatoni pasta with butternut squash puree and a blend of Gouda, cheddar cheese, and Parmesan cheese. So it's sounding pretty good. And just for uh, my viewers out there, we are using the oven instructions. We don't do microwave when we're doing food reviews. No ma'am, unless it only has microwave instructions, of course. But we're gonna go with oven because oven is always better. Thank you, stay tuned. All right, everybody, a quick sneak peek. Here it is, fresh out of the oven. Let me turn a light on. For some reason, it doesn't work. It doesn't work, the light above the stove. So here she is. Oh yeah. Mm. All right, you all know why we're here. Today, we're trying the Trader Joe's butternut squash mac and cheese. And of course, we have water to wash it all down with today. Bon appetit. All right. A couple things. So, as you know, I was cooking it. Makes sense. This is a cook from frozen meal from the beloved Trader Joe's and I tried I wanted to follow the uh, cooking instructions to a T but when it told me to start stirring 12 minutes in it was rock solid still so we didn't stir we waited so it cooked a little bit longer than it said but it looks pretty good let me give you an up close view Oh, cheesy, good. All right. Yum, right? <laughs> so, to be honest, when I was putting it in the oven, though, it didn't even look like food. I was a little worried at first, for sure. I just got my hair cut, so I'm playing with it. <laughs> um, But I was worried. The noodles looked like they were f foam or something. It was strange. Um, and the cheese, it was just like this weird cheesy sauce block frozen. And I was like, okay, well, we'll see. But she turned out looking pretty good. So that's pretty nice. So let's try. I'm worried it's going to be too hot. I'm a big baby. But we're going to try. Okay, that's interesting. That's interesting. The noodles are a little firmer than I'd like. But that could have been due to my inability to cook it correctly. So it's chewier than pasta would usually be. But the butter... So... I'm not really like a big squash fan. Like I like spaghetti squash, but that's because I cover it in other stuff. So I was worried about how I would feel about the pumpkin or the, sorry, butternut squash puree, but it's actually pretty good. And it's, it, it works well with the different cheeses. It is actually pretty good. Next time I'll try and, I think, I think what the problem is, I think my freezer gets too cold. That's what I think it is. So the food is going into the oven colder than it's supposed to. So that throws it all off. But the pasta thing, to be honest, I also think might be Trader Joe's. Because the way the noodles looked, 
it looked didn't, that didn't look like pasta like I said so I'm like not surprised it turned out really firm but it's not bad that bite was a little more tender interesting and like it was really hard to get it mixed at any stage of the game until it was fully cooked so I think that's why the noodles can come out so inconsistent but once again could be my own stupidity it's very likely but see look at it, look at it. sorry mm, cheesy a good amount of cheese because you know sometimes on these things you got to add extra cheese because they skimp out on the cheese but no I feel I feel good about this but I feel like some of the cheesiness is like a it's like tricks it tricks you into thinking it's cheesier with the butternut squash puree which is not bad probably better for you so we'll go with that but it's pretty good stuff there's two servings in a container only time will tell if I decide to eat both of them. Typically, I would. But, you know, new year, new me. Trying to be better. I hope you like the fine china I served this on. Beautiful paper plates. As you see, we're using a real fork today. Sorry, it's dirty now. I've been eating off of it. Disgusting. But, yeah. I mean, no, comp no, I mean, some complaints. You heard my complaints. But it's pretty good. I say try it. Let me know what you think. And once again, throw throw some comments on things you think I should try. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. A good night, everybody.